and welcome my name is Jessica and this is my channel for D Stitch Sew. Uh, my channel is all about dressmaking, vlogging about my sewing journey, love for fabrics and patterns and anything sewing related chit chat. So if you've got a passion in sewing or you think about starting a new hobby in sewing then why not give it a go because you never know it's so much fun so go sew it. Uh, anyway, welcome back to my wig reviewers and welcome aboard if you're new to my channel. Feel free to watch my video and hopefully you give me a video, a thumbs up and hopefully you can subscribe, consider subscribing to my channel. Now you know, press that button, you know you want to, um, that, that would be fabulous. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to do like like a sewing slash haul uh, for the stuff that I bought for the last few months, and I thought I want to I want to share them with you today. Um, so anyway, grab yourself a cuppa and let's get started in this video. Anyway, before I get started in this video, I have to do it very very quickly. Um, some of, some of this video might be in part one or part two, um, because it's going to be. Um, coming up to my birthday this week and we're doing a few days uh, walking in the countryside so that's what I want to do for my birthday so hopefully fingers crossed the weather will, will be really, really lovely so anyway um, I want to get something for my birthday I've been wanting to get this for quite a while now and it's finally uh, come um, and me and my partner were just out in the car um, yesterday and um, I was looking through some things that I want to get for my birthday, just a few ideas. And um, my partner said, right, let's go to Hobbycraft, you know, to get something for your birthday because you've always wanted to get this. So why not we just go to Hobbycraft? So we drove into Hobbycraft um, in Crown Point in Leeds and I got a few bits as well. So... I want to get something for my server room that's got a lot of storage and everything and it's it's on wheels and I can put it across to my sewing room and the little things I want to put in in this part about to show you and it is it's still in its box oh it's still in its box so still wrapped up and it's this three tier rolling trolley so it's easy access and portable storage for all your crafty essentials and also sewing essentials the dimension is 78 centimeters height and it is 43 meters in the width and also 35 centimeters for the the depths of the the trays so I can't wait to open this so I can actually put love, lovely things in it. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to put in so I can't wait to do that. So I'll probably do this in another video. So now this might be, um, might have to open this um, later on this week when I get a chance to. So let's put this back. I'm not going to open it. I'm still going to leave it in its box. And other stuff that I've got as well, so I just want to move my camera. So I've got a few. I've got a few things as well to go with the trolley. So I've got these a trolley accessory set uh, for use for the trolley. So I've got one that's got like a little shelf. Um, got one to put all my ribbons in, and other bits and pieces, and also some hooks as well. So this would be idea because I want to put my uh, my tracing paper and also my paper brown wool. Um, so this would be absolutely brilliant and that's what it looks like when you add all the other stuff to it. So I'll, I'll put a picture at the side of it to look like in fully detail. So I've got that as well. And also I've got a, a uh, trolley topper. So this might be handy just to put all my projects and hidden away um, so I know what I want to do next and also put like um, something on top as well um, it could be like my iron 
or my press and stuff so so this could be handy i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it so yeah better better see so that's what i've got to so this is for my my birthday and i've got a few things as well that's in my Hobby craft bag so let's have a look what's inside there might be a bit of rustling here and there so in so i've got one of these little tubs so i might put things like my pencils um with bits and pieces my i won't use um if i'm doing a lot more crafting i want to do different other stuff as well so it could be like air dry clay embroidery uh punch needles so I'm trying to find some use out of one of these tubs so i've got that as well so i've also got some some pins some glass headed pins you know what can be wrong getting rows of pins so it's handy if you've got some i've also got a a hemline gold um to put all your bobbins in and um, the reason why um i got this is because i found a, a sewing uh, room tour and basically she put um the inside on the pegboard i want to get a pink one but i don't think it i don't think it will mind uh to add a bit more color uh, instead of white so i've got that as well so if i can't use it to put on the pegboard peg board at least i've got some more bobbins as well i've got a few uh, bobbin cases as well but so these bobbin cases will probably be on my little trolley as well um i want to get out all the things that i want to see rather than in draw so i know where things are so i've got that as well uh, i also got a clover pom-pom maker so i want to try to think trying to do some decoration it could be a pom-pom uh bunting trying to make one that's hanging across my pegboard and hang it across like my walls and everything in all different colors so probably probably get like pastel colors but um i got some yarn from the works just a cheap yarn just to practice um this pom-pom maker um so yeah you can do all sorts of things on it you can actually make some pom-pom um ball to put on your hat and uh, little key rings and everything so i can't wait to get started so so i've got um the 65 uh, millimeters and also the 85 millimeters but i want to get the small one as well so i've got the whole set so i've got that I also got some fat quarters so this is a, a knit and stitch one uh, i don't want to open it just yet so i've got one that's in like a different uh, color i also got um the blue like a dark bluey color i also got the one that's a light blue with some pink uh, checked squares and also um i've got pink and purple checked one as well so I've got, so this one might be a lovely, um, like to make some makeup bags or um, it's really, really funky um, beginner projects, like fat quarter projects. So that's why I got that as well. And also I've got some, some DAS modeling clay because um, I want to make some, something creative and something new. Um, that's something to do with my sewing goals if you see uh, my sewing um sewing so resolutions then it um i tell you that i want to make something to create something new and explore new different creating activities so um i want to make some like a mod some like a necklace by using some modern clay now i've got all the bits and pieces as well so i also got from the works ages ago some palette uh, knives um i've got like a crafting knife so i can cut out um 
with the crafting knife for like different shapes and everything and probably um just to practice i've only just got white acrylic um paint but also want to get some gold different colors and to make something like this um so probably i'm gonna make some earrings like some rainbow earrings and um like a necklace as well so that's what this comes into play so that's that that's what i also got that as well and also um i've got loads of fat quarters from my soul Haley jane boxes so uh yesterday when i came back from Hobie craft i decided to put them um in this little um storage box it's right on the floor I'll just go and get it and it's look it's one of these so so this is one of the storage uh boxes i'll probably put a, a picture at the side just to tell you how much i pay for it and look it's jam-packed full of my fat quarters that i haven't used so i want to put them on my trolley so i can see them all in and look at all the colors on there so these are ones from uh, may 2022 right up to um april and may <laughs> um that's the one that i got for the may a description box as well for the So Hey You Jane and it's absolutely jam-packed as well so there's a lot of things I want to make as well um so yeah so this is like a little uh, a tip if you want to store your fat quarters as well so I'll just put that here and yeah um so then there is something that I want to put in my uh, trolley. There's one of the reasons why I want to get one of these is to try and to put on my patterns um, as well. Because this little basket and I'm about to show you is it's too it's too big um, for it and it's cutting up too much space. So I'm trying to make as much space as I can for my calyx unit. Um, I've only got the one the one tier um, with the four um, square boxes so that's what I've got so I've got plenty of fabrics to get on with but I want to uh, transport all my patterns that I've already got into um, the storage um, in you know for my patterns so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna show you how I start all my patterns as well so I haven't got I haven't got many patterns so this is the meta basket that I got from Amazon uh, when I started um, to before I got my calyx unit and I put all my patterns that I've got um, basically some of them are from Selena the Buttons, um, the Grey Man Scout Tea, Megan Nilsson and a few um, patterns that I've got over the, over the, over the months so I want to put all my patterns into a lovely storage boxes from Amazon. Let's put a picture here. Um, so yeah, so that's what I want to do for uh, for my trolley. So I'm getting a few ideas as well. Anyway, moving on to my other first purchase that I've got from So Essential. So I'll just put a picture here. Uh, what it looks like so it's an online sewing uh, tools you can get you can get like some um, machine sewing machines you can get all oh, the haberdasher items you get some fabric and everything and I always go back to this uh, store because when I want to get a few things to, to do um, that's better for my sewing um, I always go back to the shop because I, I like to shop around and see which is the cheapest and I always come back to the shop I bought some things over over from last year when I first started doing my sewing journey. And yeah, so I'm going to be showing you what I've got from So Essential. Now, So Essential is a sewing online store um, and it's absolutely brilliant. And um, it's someone that's run by Lucy. Uh, she's also got a YouTube channel, obviously called So Essential. And... Um, she does like sewing tips, pressing tips, um, sewing tools, and etc. So I always go back to the store because I like to I like to shop around, you know, in different, you know, in different online 
um, to buy some haberdashery items and sewing tools. So I thought I thought I'd show you what I got previously um, that I got from last year. Now I want to get some like fabric scissors and yeah so these are ones that i've got from so essential now these are my fabric scissors i use these all the time uh, but my cutting is not that great so i always want to go back to doing my rotary cutter but i want i want a pair of scissors so i can um do a lot more cutting with fabric scissors now these are a very very lovely to hold it's got like a pl plastic handle and yeah um, these are uh, Janome uh, scissors. I put a picture at the side of the mid just to, to tell you how much they are. Um, but yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love it. So it's got like a like a, a straight edge. So when you cut in, you know, it gives you that lovely um, cutting snip when you're cutting your fabrics. So I've got these as well. Also, um, I want to treat myself to some pattern weights so i'm going to show you these pattern weights that i've that i've got now they now these are uh from so essential and they come in this lovely lovely tin um you can get them on all different um you can get like donuts and you can get like um some sewing um pictures so i got some donut ones so i'm gonna probably show you what they look like outside the tin So you, you get four in a pack. So now I've got a pink one. I've got a, a blue one. I've also got a pink one with the white icing on it. They do look like, um, um, what they're called, them little biscuits, you know, the mini ring biscuits that you get. <laughs> um, and then also, a chocolate, a chocolate one with all different rainbow sparkles. So yeah, they are actually quite heavy when to carry, and I've always liked to use these for for when I was cutting out my patterns. So yeah, you get four, um, and I just put a picture at the side of me to show you some different ones that you can get from So Essential. Um, but they're also brilliant. As as a, as a little gift for you know from you know if you've got someone that is that likes sewing and they want to get some like uh, like a little gift as well these these be brilliant for for a friend that loves sewing yeah so um, in April I got a few things that I want to do for um, some some like notions that I want to to get for to make the adrian blouse and also the sagebrush top so in both in so I bought so i have bought some shoulder strap elastic now these are absolutely brilliant for i'll just show you the, the adrian blouse so this is going to be useful for the elastic on the sleeves at the bottom um, so it does tell you um, the notions at the back. It says w one to one and a half yards, which is 1.4 metres of one and a half wide elastic and bra strap elastic if possible. So that's what I've got. Um, so when I want to go and so I think, so I've got a few. So I've got five of these just in case uh, if I want to go back and make it again. And also, I want to use the sagebrush top as well because that's got elastic, you know, for to give out that puffy sleeve look. So I got that as well. Um, when I was watching one of her videos on So Essential, now she was making the Adrian blouse, and uh, she gave like a few other tips to uh, for your Adrian blouse. So I got some. Let's have a look on my invite to see what it's called. So this is a theory line. Um, I've put a picture at the side of me and what it, um, what it says because I'm not very good at pronouncing things. So this is a stay a stay tape. Uh, it's fifteen millimeters and it's very very nice and stretchy, 
and it's really nice soft very very really really nice soft as well so this is for when you when you're ironing on your neckline to give it that loving nice finish when you put it on um when you put it on so i've got this i've got some stage tape as well that's going to be handy and i've also got some uh, when i want to make the adrian blouse um she did recommend to get some um some iron on facing so this is a stretch uh polyester um iron on interfacing so i've got a few meters of this as well so, so it's stretchy from long uh, long ways and even um short ways got a bit of stretch um to give it that you know that stability um when you're making any jersey um stretchy fabric so i've got some of that as well so that will come in handy and i've got some prim iron cleaner so when my iron gets a bit dirty um i'm not going to show you a demonstration as well um so i've got some of that as well so um I've got a little things from, uh, I've got a, some fabric from Guffy and Gynie. Now, I've been hanging up this fabric for a long, long time now. So this is this is going to be to make some trousers. Now, it could be the Tina Button Safari, uh, Safari trousers or the Megan Nelson or Pal trousers. I'm going to show you the pattern. This is the pattern as well. So I've got some fabric that I want to get started in doing a twirl and I've also got some linen fabric that I got from, um, if it's, it's one of my, my main night plans but I want to get my main night plans up in motion as well. So I'm, I'm still finishing off my, my scout, my screen on scout tea. Again, I'm very, very slow in sewing. Um, I like to take my time in my sewing so I want to do like half an hour uh, when I come home from work and then have something to lunch and then hopefully I can do it the next next night um so yeah so I will show you you know that top so my next my next sewing project will be the sagebrush top and I've also I've already got the fabrics um washed out and ready I'm gonna ready to cut the pattern and also cut the fabric um so i won't be able to do any bit of sewing the only part the only day i can actually do some sewing is this friday coming now i'm doing i'm doing a lot more things on the weekend so i'm probably going to do more and um, starting making the sagebrush top as well um so i'm just going to show you the fabric that i got from guffy and gyne i'll be right back so this is the most beautiful fabric that I've got from Guffy and Gynet. I love anything to do with pink uh, florals. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is a cotton poplin. So I'm going to try to make some trousers out of this because I've got some fabric that I want to make to make the sagebrush top. Now these will look absolutely perfect you know because it's got different shades of pink as well so this is a cotton poplin and um i've got three meters of this it's absolutely soft it's absolutely beautiful so i got this for um 29 uh twin so i got this for 29.70 for three meters now it's actually not bad from guffy and gyne again when I went to buy this um, this fabric, I also got some uh, prim iron cleaner. Now, so I've got two iron cleaners. So, yeah, so I think it's best to check when you want to buy things, just check if you haven't already got it yourself. I'm going to love you and leave you and hopefully... This trolley will be built up in a few days, hopefully before my birthday or probably, it might be after my birthday. And I'm going to probably show you what I put in my trolley. Um, 
and it's going to be absolutely brilliant so then again um so if you haven't already subscribed uh please do hopefully um you like my video and hopefully you like what you see i'll put anything that i've mentioned in the description box below um so you can have a look for yourself i you can buy it for yourself and um and thank you for watching and please like share and subscribe to my channel as well give me a video a thumbs up and yeah so I'll say this in all end of my video. It's so much fun. So go and sew it. Anyway, take take care. Happy sewing. Bye.